case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for the new york court of appeals heard a 2006 case called seminets v Sherling and walden that focused on the concept of corporate liability the central issue was determining whether a corporation that bought another corporation's assets should be held responsible for the previous owner's wrongdoing except under certain circumstances the case arose after an infant named Sean Seminets was injured while using a sawmill purchased by Seminets Lumber Mill from S&W Edger Works. The accident resulted in the partial amputation of the child's hand and fingers. When Edger Works sold most of its assets and changed its name to Sherling and Walden, Sawmills and Edgers, Inc. acquired most of those assets and began manufacturing sawmills at the same plant in Alabama, where Edger Works had previously produced them. Bridget Seminets filed a lawsuit against sawmills. Edger Works, and Sherling and Walden, alleging a range of charges including strict products liability, negligent design and manufacture, breach of duty to warn, and breach of warranty. She also made a claim against Seminet's lumber for failure to maintain safe premises. The court rejected the product line exception, which would have made the purchasing corporation liable for any defects in the products manufactured by Edger Works. The purchasing corporation's motion for summary judgment was denied and further discovery was ordered. On appeal, the court held that the purchasing corporation could not be held liable for injuries caused by the sawmill under the product line exception or the Schumacher exceptions. The appellate division's order granting summary judgment and dismissing the complaint was affirmed. This decision provides clarity to the corporate liability landscape, specifying the circumstances under which a corporation might be held responsible for the actions of a predecessor. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.